Hi, good day everyone. This video is about angles formed by secants and tangents. So I have here our first theorem, the intersecting secants exterior theorem. So according to this theorem, the measure of an angle formed by two secants that intersect the exterior of a circle is one half the difference of its intercepted arc. Alright, so for example, let's say we have this given circle, okay? So if we have this intersecting secants exterior theorem, for example, we have this exterior angle A, right? So let's say, let's name this one as X. So if you want to solve for the value of X, that means X is equals to the half, okay? That is one half of the difference of their intercepted arc. So our first intercepted arc here is arc DE, the bigger one, and the arc BC, all right? So just subtract their values. Therefore, X is equals to the half of the difference of BE and BC, right? So let's try to solve this given problem. Okay, for example, we have this um, given circle with an exterior angle X or A, right? So DE is equal to 160 degrees and BC is equal to 60 degrees. Again, if you're asked to solve for the exterior angle of two intersecting secant lines, Again, your task is to, or the formula is, we have this x is equal to the half of the difference of its intercepted arc. So we have this de, okay, our first arc, minus the value of our second intercepted arc, which is bc. Alright, so let's try to substitute the values. Therefore, the value of x is simply equal to the half of de is 160 degrees. We have 160 minus bc and that is 60 degrees okay so just um, simplify this one therefore x is equals to half of 160 minus 60 that is 100 and 1 half times 100 therefore the value of x is equals to 50 degrees and that's it so that is our final answer okay so let's try to solve another problem for example let's say we have this given um, circle we're in the value of our exterior angle is x over 2, right? So we have this angle, and the value of our first intercepted arc is x plus 40 degrees, and the bigger one is x plus 80 degrees, right? So let's try to solve for the value of x. Again, same procedure, okay? So if you want to solve for the value of x, again, that is the value of m. So we will use the formula. So the value of our exterior angle, or angle m, is equal to the half of its intercepted arc. So that is according to our children. So we have um, HS as our first arc minus 80 as our second intercepted arc. Therefore, the value of angle M is X over 2. So let's try to substitute the values. We have M as X over 2 is equals to half of HS. HS is X plus 80 degrees. Okay, minus 80 and that is X plus 40 degrees. So just simplify this one. All right, so um, let's combine like terms. We have x and x, and we also have 80 plus um, minus positive 40. Therefore, we have x over 2. Okay, so it will give us x over 2 is equals to half of, okay, so x minus x, so that is 0. So just cancel out this values of x, and 80 minus positive 40 that is equals to 40 degrees okay so by simplifying this right so let's remove the denominator let's multiply um both of both sides of our equation by 2 therefore it will give us x over 2 is equals to 1 half of 40 times 2 okay to eliminate the denominators therefore the value of x okay so cancel out denominators x is equals to 40 degrees and that's our final answer x is equals to 40 okay now for example you're asked to solve for the value of angle m so if the value of x is 40 therefore angle m so just substitute therefore that is equals to 40 divided by 2 so m is equals to 20 degrees okay same with 80 so 80 is x plus 40 therefore it will give us 40 plus 40 and that is equals to 80 degrees okay next if x 
plus 80 is the value of, of hs. Therefore, that is equals to 40 plus 80 or simply 120 degrees. Okay, so if you want to double check your answer. Next, let's proceed. So, for example, let's say we have this given um, problem. Okay, so we have this um, angle GS 36 degrees. We have this intercepted arc NL as X. And we have this um, second intercepted arc as AE as 100 degrees. So we will use um, the same formula to solve for the value of X. Okay, so this time we need to simp um, derive the formula. Okay, so just use the same formula. So we have this angle G. All right, so the value of angle G is half of its of the difference of its intercepted arc therefore that is AE minus NL okay so just substitute the value so angle G is we have the given value of 36 degrees so just encode 36 degrees is equals to half of AE so AE is equals to 100 degrees minus NL okay, our missing value that is angle X All right so just simplify this one and solve for the value of X okay Therefore, it will give us 36 degrees is equals to 1 half of 100 minus x. Alright, so I think we need to remove the denominator. So let's multiply the entire equation by 2, okay? To cancel out the denominator. So it will allow us to cancel the denominator 2. And let's multiply 2 to 36. So 2 times 36, that is equals to um, 672. Uh, I think that is 72 degrees is equals to 1 times 100 degrees minus x okay and the next one right so since that is 1 times 100 degree minus x so just um rewrite this one as 72 degrees is equals to 100 degrees minus x okay so just isolate the value of x all right so let's um subtract 100 both sides okay minus 100 both sides Therefore, it will give us 72 minus 100, that is negative 28, I think, negative 28 is equals to, cancel out 100, therefore that is equals to negative x, okay? Since the value for x is a negative, so let's multiply this entire equation by negative 1 or a negative number, right? So just change the sign, therefore the value of x is equals to 28 degrees. And that is our final answer. Alright, so thank you so much and God bless.